quantitative and qualitative data. What is the difference? So data is the foundation of data science, driving insights, decision-making and innovation across industries. In data science, data serves as the raw material from which patterns, trends and relationships are extracted. In the context of data science, quantitative and qualitative data differ in the type of information they represent and how they are analyzed. And that's what we're going to briefly introduce today. Okay, what is this distinguishment between quantitative and qualitative data? And we'll start off with quantitative data. And this is type of data that is numerical and can be measured or counted. Because we have numerical values, we can make comparisons between different values. And that obviously supports us in our analysis of data. It typically answers questions like how many or how much, and includes data such as heights, waste, test scores, and sales figures. So with this quantitative data, then we have subcategories, and these subcategories we're gonna look at are interval data and ratio data. Interval data is quantitative data with meaningful intervals, but no true zero point. So essentially, it does not specifically start in, at zero and go up incrementally. And an example of this, could be things such as a temperature, right? Temperature, it does have a zero value, but we can go beneath it. We can go under it, okay? So it's not like temperature starts at zero and goes up. No, there are variations between, but there are meaningful intervals on that temperature on how hot or cold it is. So we can get a feeling for what those values represent, but there's no true starting zero point. The other uh, category we look at is ratio data, and its difference is, is that it does have a true zero point. So this is an actual scenario where if I'm measuring someone's height, I get out my ruler, I put it on the floor, and zero is on the floor, and then I go up in centimeters, and I can actually see how tall that person is in centimeters or meters. Okay, so I have a true zero starting point, and then from there, I can measure upwards, going up in meaningful incrementations from that zero point there. So that's ratio data as a form of quantitative data. So they are our numerical values for analyzing data. We're then gonna jump over to qualitative data, which is data that is descriptive, but often non-numerical. It is used to capture subjective characteristics like opinions or categories or qualities. And examples could include customer reviews, colors or types of products. Okay, so we're kind of putting classifications on things and then that's how we differentiate between the different forms of data. So here, the actual data can be divided into two forms, nominal data or ordinal data, okay, for putting our classifications on. Nominal data categorizes without a specific order. So we are actually looking at characteristics that we're classifying into, but one classification might not necessarily be different to another classification in order of superiority. So this could be blood type. If my blood type is A or some or B or O or or the many variations between, it doesn't necessarily mean it's a better blood type. Some people might believe it is, or there could be reasons scientifically that there are, I'm not sure of myself, but essentially we're just classifying the different blood types based on their makeup and not because one is superior to the other. It could even be just types of products. Okay, at my store, I sell hats, I sell shirts, I sell pants, where they're just different classifications of the clothes and products. Once again, one not being superior to the other, it's just I've got to put things into specific categories so that they can be organized and through being organized, it is more meaningful for my data set. Ordinal data, on the other hand though, it is in a meaningful order. So this actual data now is in some sort of hierarchy or category that is meaningful. So if a customer gives a review of my store and I have those little emojis set up for how was their experience, they can select excellent, they can select good, satisfactory or poor. Well, there is a hierarchy to that. I want excellent, excellent score is better than a poor score. So that's the logic with ordinal data. Okay, and it could also be things such as in the workplace, how certain people are managers or executives or, or employees on the floor. There is a hierarchy there and that fits into how the management structure works and how issues get reported and who makes decisions. So ordinal data has a hierarchy related to its categories. So I'll stop there on this actual introduction to quantitative and qualitative data today, as 
it is meaning to introduce to the two concepts and about the measurement types that are involved essentially quantitative data we're dealing with numerical values that have meaningful increments related to them that we can track differences between these different values and then qualitative data about categorizing data into a meaningful organized manner whether it be through levels of hierarchy or it is just simple classifications so i can have things in different groups that are meaningful and support our data sets